Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Today we are going to be looking at how to set up machine inside Ableton so that we've got templates we can use easily in the future when we want to record our machine sessions. I've got a beat here that I'm going to use for testing as we set up this project. First thing I'm going to do is create 16 tracks. You can see here that I've also grouped my 16 tracks with the instance of machine on a separate track. I've also color coded them. I've made the instance of machine gray because that is the color that I use for my utility tracks. Those are tracks that aren't actually doing anything but they're holding something or serving a functional purpose, not a musical purpose in my sessions. I made everything else white because I don't use white for anything else. So when I drag these templates in later on, I'll end up changing the colors. But we have these tracks set up for each of our different pads. We've grouped them. Next thing to do is set up the external routing in the mixer on machine so that every one of the tracks in machine go to their own external output. What we're gonna do then is take the external input on each of these tracks that we've set up in Ableton and set it to reflect the relative output on machine. One thing we are just going to want to be aware of is the fact that in Ableton there's no output one. We have to use the, the master output for that and then every other track will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on, up to 16. So I was naming my tracks and I discovered a cool little thing that I didn't know existed. Turns out if you hold the command key while pushing the up and down arrow, you can actually reposition your tracks inside Ableton. Some of you probably knew that, I hadn't used that feature myself. The reason I decided to label things with square brackets was so when the name shows up on the clip, it easily separates the pad one from whatever text comes after that. All right, that's the first template down. After this, I decided to try set up a template for all of the other ways I thought I might want to export audio from machine. So in this case, I'm setting up a single track to record a master output on machine. That one's fairly easy to set up because you only have to route it from one place. After I'd done that one, I decided to set up a template for the different banks on machine. You can have far more than eight banks, but I typically don't use more than eight, so my template has eight labeled A through H. For all of these, you just wanna make sure that you are setting the routing inside machine uh, to one, two, three, four, five, whatever, three to 16, and then make sure that your external input on Ableton for your track reflects the routing that you set on machine. All right, so we've got three templates down. Now we need a way that we can quickly pull these into Ableton for future use. You can actually drag in tracks from any Ableton session that you have into another one. You can do that from the browser. That's what we're gonna do here. The session that I created all of these machine templates in is gonna be my template session. Then I'm just gonna set up a folder in my uh, browser so I can easily access all of these track templates that I made. All the VSTs, all the settings, everything will already be there stored in those templates. So this is what it looks like. Add file, locate your template file. I'm gonna rename mine so it's just called machine templates. But you can see there that I have the three templates that I set up. So now if I wanna use those, I literally just drag it in and it populates my session with everything that I set up. Same colors, same VSTs. My machine has got an empty session here. Perfect. Later on, I did actually go and save the sessions I'd created inside machine as their own templates as well. So if I ever wanted to use them in the future, I wouldn't have to worry about routing <laughs> 16 tracks to 16 different outputs. I've got those all saved as templates in machine 
as well. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I tried to make it as short as possible so you didn't have to watch me creating 16 tracks and labeling everything. But take this principle, create your own templates if you're using Machine in Ableton. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I tried to make this as clear as possible, but if I have overlooked anything, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and we'll catch you guys next week. Also, let me know if you would like me to do a similar video on MIDI templates for machine, as in controlling machine with MIDI in Ableton and vice versa. I think it would be interesting. That's not how I tend to use machine myself, but I'm pretty keen to experiment with that as well. So let me know if you've got any questions in regards to that in the comments. Catch you guys later.